Hello my friends, John LaRuffy here with another Solo Sessions, and in this one we're going to take a look at a solo game of Scholars of the South Tigris. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay folks, and as usual, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. And if you have, thank you so much for the support, I really appreciate it. So I have the camera, I have the board and everything kind of pushed over a little bit to try to minimize the glare as much as possible since my lighting situation, I want you to be able to see you know, these cards as, as well as you can. Uh, so it's a little bit off center, but... Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. First of all, I've already done all the setup steps. So pretty much everything for the setup is done. And you can remember, or and I'm also playing on the easiest solo mode settings. So there is no real influence or anything out there from our solo bot buddy over here. I am set up for the epic game. So we have plenty of uh, gameplay ahead of us. So let's go ahead and get started here. So here's my dice that I'm working with, and I'll try to keep these, uh, maybe I'll put them over here as we play so you kind of see what's going on. All right, so let's see. What do we want to do first? Well, I always like to bump up this green track, but all possible. Are we a little bit, yeah, so there's a Persian person. I have someone who's getting to Persian. We can do Persian to Syriac, and then here we've got Persian to, yeah, yeah. okay, so. Let's take a look here at what makes the most sense. I think that would be the best thing to do first is to go ahead and get some people that will help us translate. So let's do it. And let's begin, like I said, with this card here. Now I'd like to take this one because it goes Persian to Arabic and that will help me um, with this scroll right here, which will help me with this and it'll just all play nicely together. So let's do the six. That means I can take this and I can go ahead and put it anywhere I want, providing I have the coins, which I have a bunch of coins to start. Uh, let's see. Um, I might want it over here. It costs a lot, but it will get me moving. Yeah, let's do that. Let's spend the four coins. Let's put it up here, and then I get a bonus, a bump, or whatever in any spot. And I, I really want to get going on this track if all possible. Uh, so let's do that first. Let's go ahead and draw and roll another die. Okay, three blue. Not too shabby. All right, so we should be in good shape there. Now let's see what he is going to do. The bot says move this one space. And if there's five or more cards down here, which there are, he's going to try. Oh, sorry, five or more up here. He does not have that, so he's going to move one over. So what's he going to move? Well, he wants to move Sanskrit. Is there a Sanskrit out there? There is a Sanskrit, so he's going to take the Sanskrit here. He's going to put it over into the spot that would be orange, because if we're on an orange spot, that would be his preference. And then he'll go ahead and mark that with our first influence. Now, uh, again, folks, I'm going to do my absolute best to not make mistakes. There's no doubt about it. But I can't promise anything. You know, I try my best. It's a live game. I do this in one take. So the uh, the hope is, is that I don't make any mess ups. But if, you do, if I do, please feel free to po point them out, help everybody out. I try to pin my comments and everything so that people can see if I've made an error. All right. So we're done with him. Back to me now. I, again, I'm going to work on trying to get this Persian. So that would be one, two, three, four, four, which I've got a four. That's no problem. Now, which card would make the most sense? Well, probably the one that's going to allow me to get some coins. I, I, I've got a lot of white dice in my bag already. However, I usually play a little hefty on the white dice at the beginning and then try to work them out as we go. So here, that's two more coins which I'm gonna need, oh, actually I'm gonna need more than that. Two more coins, and do I, is there a way that I can get another coin? Uh, yeah, what we're gonna to need to do, we'll have to pause on that idea for one momento, and we'll have to do some research first to get the coins I need. So let's do that, let's play this here, and let's see about getting a couple more coins. So get the two. Okay, we got those. Now, track, track, track. Probably the best thing, so I said I have a lot of dice would be to, or a lot of white dice would be to try to move up on this. And so let's do that. Let's, um, 
Let's see. Well, no, that's really hard. Orange is tough because I don't have any way to do that. Eh, let's go with the blue. So blue and a... That will give me nine right there. So nine lets me get this action, eight plus, so I get two more coins. I don't have to spend any of my precious gold. And then this is a blue. Uh, so I can go, and I could make it a green to go up there, but we're not. We're going to make it a blue. And then I'm going to put an influence in a card just in case he tries to do something sneaky. We're going to try to push him off that uh, opportunity. The other thing I could do is... Put some influence on this one or this one. Hmm. Leave it. Card plays. Card, card, uh, token lays a token play today. Okay. So that's it. Uh, right. Now, let's see what he does. He's going to bo boost this over here. And now it's five of these guys to translate, which there are five out there. So he is going to do an influence move. He is going to influence... Um, where's he going to go? He's got that right there. Make sure you guys can see that well. See those cards okay? I don't know. Hope so. All right, what he's going to do is he's there's five green over here, so he wants to influence one of those, and then he's going to move, put a gold on the first uh, one of these that he can. And the way he's going to look at the influence is where he is not. So they give you nice things here to tell you kind of a little bit about what he's going to do. So this is where no player have any place than where or have any than where the AI has none. Then uh, use color focus. Well. Green, green, green. So boom, right there. Now when place a gold, place a gold in the leftmost neutral translator if possible. So there is a possibility to do that. Boom, right there. And I should have, now that I see that, see, we'll talk about mistakes. This isn't a neutral translator, it's my translator. So then first neutral translator is actually going to be this one right here. All right. Now, <clears throat> back to me. I have the gold now to do the move that I want to do. Uh, and so I also have been talking about this one. So let's try to do that because that'll let, by the time I get over there, it won't quite work out as I intend, but it won't be bad either. So we're going to go ahead and put this over here. And I said I need four. So that's one, two, three, four. It's no colors. And I don't feel like it's worth making it a yellow just to influence a card. I don't think the influence on the cards is that strong of a situation in this game. I mean, it definitely can be helpful to block the AI, but I don't find it to be as helpful as uh, uh, Wayfarers, for instance. Okay, so we've done that. Now we're going to take this guy over there. Remember, when you, you move a card, you instantly do get the bonus from the research. So that is good. So that will allow me to do what I was hoping to do. And then I'm going to see if I can just get a little beach head over here in purple. Because that would give me the first choice when it comes time to um, score one of those four scoring situations. All right. So we move that over. And now it's back to him. That's a zero move here. If there's seven or more, then we do that. Well, there's two, four, five, like we said before. So he's going to recruit. And he's going to recruit um, a Greek one. As long as there are no Greek guys out there, which there are not. So he's going to go ahead and do this. And then he's going to see. He wants to put it in space number one. Okay. So he'll put it right here. And there we have it. Now. My turn. So I've put that over there. It would be great to pick it up. Uh, and how would I do that? Well, I could translate Persian to Arabic right there. And that would literally require one gold. The only problem is I don't have any purple. The only way to get a purple would be to, of course, get some red. I could use, well, I'd have to use red and blue. The blue's already used. Uh, let's see. Actually, when I interacted with her, I should have gotten this right away. I actually am better off translating, if I can, from the orange first, but... Hmm. 
Well, none of that's really going to go exactly according to plan. So let's go ahead and see if I can uh, maybe dismiss somebody to get some more stuff in my bag. I have four over here. I could make one of six. It'd be a nine. It'd be a bunch of stuff. And then that would allow me to do some different things up there. But... I don't know if I love any of those particular options. Well, this is what we're going to do for sure. I am going to want more flexibility. So let's put this out here. Or, or I don't know, I could kind of double down and get some more guys now. You know what? But I'm not going to do that because, well, let's see. So if I was to do that, there's a chance. So in my bag, I do have a red. A red and a... So Sanskrit, but I don't have anything that would go to Sanskrit. So, all right, let's not get crazy here. Let's stick with the plan. So we are gonna put that down in order to activate this. We're going to use four and we're going to, and I never paid the four, by the way, if I don't, don't think I did to bring that over earlier. So we're gonna get one that costs up to four, which is any of those first guys. And I think the, thing that I'm most excited about would be to dismiss. Yeah, I could do the orange, but that's not helpful. I'm going to dismiss this to get another blue in my bag. So I get a coin, as you see, and a blue. And that's helpful. The blue goes into the bag. The coin goes into my area. And then she goes down here. Now, why did I play four? Well, I kind of just wanted to spend my dice out. I don't really need all those white dice, and I'm hoping to draw some of the other ones. So that's fine. Okay, back to him. No moves there. If there's three or more here, he's gonna translate. He's gonna try to translate the one that it's in Greek. If there's a Greek one out there, there is not a Greek one. So what he's gonna to try to do then Hebrew. Is there a Hebrew? Nope. Persian, plenty of Persians. So luckily I have that. Uh, so normally he would translate the one that's in the lowest spot, I believe. I'll just make sure when we do the translate. So use language focus, then lowest row, then use color focus. Yeah, so I have to actually pay a gold or a coin to push him off my spot. So I push him off, but then he goes to, he'll go to this color focus here uh, because it's not the lowest spot. So then he's going to translate this Persian one. All right. So the, this is the, the one action that's kind of a little bit weird when, they, when the AI does the translate. They don't translate like you would think they do, okay? What they do is they take the card and they just put it next to its language focus, right? That's it. And then you put a gold on one of the translators that speaks Persian first, if you can. So let's see if anybody speaks Persian. Well, and it's a neutral first. So basically the way it goes is neutral Persian speakers from right to left. Then my Persian speakers from right to left. Then neutral that don't speak it anything that doesn't matter and then mine that don't speak so it's a little bit weird in the fact that it doesn't follow the normal rules uh, once i got an understanding of that i was in good shape i was there's no issues from there okay so it translated that one leaves me an opportunity here but i don't have a lot of coins but that would be cool if i had a way to do it i don't oh and i should have spun this over for my little player right at the beginning so what we're going to do now, I think, is we're going to just go ahead and we'll do a rest action. So I'm going to reveal the bottom card. The bottom card here is uh, number one. So we move this one space like this. Then it's going to replace this card with itself. And this card is going to go and replace that spot right there. Now, it wouldn't replace that spot if there was one there already. But if there's any tower that has nothing in it, it replaces it. If it didn't, it would discard. Okay, now if it was one that had my influence on it, it would skip that. Okay, so we've done that replacement. Then we're going to go ahead and gain income. Well, starting over here, I gain any one of these of my choice. Well, I absolutely want to move this up here to start to get rid of some of these white dice. All right, so let's just take a white die right out of my bag because I started with a ton. Then I go ahead and activate this. It says I can spend any color of guy for gold. You bet. Get rid of that white. And I'm going to spend it for gold. Then over here, I have to take my white dice back. 
Over here, I could take a white die and a gold. That's interesting. I don't have to do that if I don't, oh no, actually I do have to do it. I believe I don't, I can't not do it. So the white die and the gold, I'm pretty sure you have to take all of your income, whether you want to or not. Um, and then here, this will be any color of the choice. So I know I want to translate purple. I have red and I have blue dice in here, but in, and in the bag I have red and blue. So I'm chances are I'm gonna get that. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take uh, this one as well to maybe make an orange at a time when I might be able to translate from there and then continue on with what I'm doing. Okay, so then we go ahead and we draw um, the four out of the bag, come on. One, two, three, four. All right, I got the blue, didn't get the red, darn it. Well, I got a red there, so that's good, okay. So that's what I'm working with. Then I'll return all dice to the bag. And then I go ahead and return all action cards to my hand, which we're just kind of keeping slightly off the camera here. Okay, I've rested. Back to him now. He will rest next turn, but not yet. So we move his focus over to then if there's three or more, he wants to translate. So he's going to try to translate that Persian again. Oh boy, I have really just had to pay the piper for that. So I guess, <laughs> I mean, I guess the influence is paying off for me this time. So I had to pay two coins, unfortunately, to keep that. Uh, so he's going to translate this Persian instead. Okay, so again, we put this up here. And then we put a gold on the neutral Persian speaker, which is this guy first. And then that is his because he takes all the neutrals. So it goes over here uh, into his pile. And he has that now. All right. Now back to me. So I'm going to translate, I believe. I don't see why I wouldn't. So I could stop paying for that. I need the purple. Uh, and so, oh, I know why. Yeah, that's why. Okay. So the best card to use is probably the one that uh gets me this i think at this point this would also help me get better dice i'm gonna do that okay using this card doesn't matter this the um amount so two and two and i'm gonna make this a uh, a red so red and blue make purple so now we're translating that purple right there so we got to get it from persian to arabic well it just so happens ba -bum, persian to arabic okay so we'll take that off. And because I used it again, I move up here. That gives me a free one of these. And now I have Persian to Arabic. Now, what else does it do? Well, it lets me either uh, dismiss one of those right here right away, which is actually pretty good, or I can retire that one for two points. I'm dismissing it. Because if just talking about how many white dice I have, well, that gets rid of two of my white dice, and it gives me a dice of my choice. I don't have any yellow dice, so here we go. We're going to go ahead and dismiss her. I think that worked out pretty well. Okay. Now, he is going to rest. Never moved that up before. He's going to rest. So what he does is he looks and sees... Which one of these he's done the most of? Well, he's done the most um, blue, okay? So what that means is, first and foremost, he moves towards here. One up on that dice summation track, okay? And we, oh wait, not that's not first and foremost. First and foremost, he actually reveals the bottom card here. Oh, it's a scoring one. All right. So when we reveal the scoring one, we uh, work from left to right to see what we want to do. And this is kind of interesting, because I, did, I can get a purple die right now. So it's so early. I think I want to actually do this. Get the purple die right now. Put it in my bag. A lot of times I go for the three points. But because it's so early, I think the, third, the purple die would be better. Now, since he has a favor of blue, he's going to go for the top stuff first. So he's going to go ahead and get those three points. And then since there's a tie here... He gets to do, well, he, I'm sorry, it's not a tie, but he's still in, the, he was first come, so he's first served over here. 
He's going to go down here and do this. Now, when he does the bottom one, um, he will choose. I'm going to make sure I remember this. Um, it's This is the, the little things in this game I don't want to make a mistake on. But what I think he does is he chooses between one of these to get, and he takes the one worth the most points. In fact, I know that's what he does. So he retires one of those. Uh, he doesn't get a gold or anything like that. Oh, and when I didn't get that opportunity, I do get a gold. A lot of times I forget that, which is just penalizing to myself. So which one's worth most points? Um, that is worth one point. That's worth one point. Doesn't matter. So he takes the left one. That's kind of how that works. Okay. And we're going to, for my OCD, we're going to go ahead and put that like that. All right. So now that was the the revealed low card. Then move an influence marker on the board left to right. So I said he's going to move it right because he is, um, he used more blue this time. All right. And then gain benefits based on the number of scheme cards played. Well, he played all his scheme cards. So he's going to get this guy into his retirement place. Okay. And then finally, he's going to shuffle his deck. One thing I really like about this bot is that it is really easy to run. For the most part, it has two main actions that are simple and quick. And then you have the rest, which is actually pretty, pretty decent to do. Yeah, doing these things and figuring out some of the order takes a little bit of practice. There's no doubt about it. But once you have a good understanding of it, it goes really quickly. Okay. Now, he rested, so it's back to me. Well, what do I want to do? Well, I feel like I would like some, um, like the ability. So if I can go up three on this, I need to be focusing a little bit more on that one to bump up three to get this out. So I have that and that in my future. So I need coins. And again, the best way to get coins is probably with this card and to use it to bump up over here which probably makes sense to go with this approach. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and play this. We'll get our two coins. Of course, it's going to give me more white, but that's okay. I've been managing that all right. And then, interesting. I could do this. I, I don't usually shoot for it, like go, go all the way, but I'm going to probably do that this time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play both of these down and spend two gold to be able to bump twice, okay? And like I said, I need to be focused on here, so let's just do that. Let's get the one gold back, and then when it comes around, we're going to be able to get that. Unfortunately, uh, that's funny. I usually don't use my dice so fast, but this time it's worth it, so I won't quite be able to maximize on this, but that's all right. I am more, more than happy to unlock this orange die, which should be over here, just for good measure. Where did it go? I don't know what I did with it. I swear it was there. Um, what did I do with that orange die? I put it in my bag because that was wrong. <laughs> There's a lot of people out there watching this like, dude, you grabbed your orange die. You grabbed your orange die. I'm so sorry. I grabbed it when I shouldn't have. Here, let's put that right there. It belongs there. Okay, so back to back to being what I was doing. So I've got my coins now, which means I'll be able to move that around, which I like. Okay, but we're a little bit shy on, I guess I could play this, extend the turn. That gives me more, more white, but that might be the, the way to go. We'll see. All right, let's go ahead and draw him. He goes with one. Are there five translators? One, two, three, four, five. There are, I'm sorry, I always count that. There are not five over here, so he's gonna move one. Which one is he gonna move? Well, he wants to move a Siri, uh, uh, Syriac if he can. Let's see a Syriac. Oh, yeah, right here, Syriac. And where does he wanna move it? He'd like to move it to green. Okay, so he gets one influence on the green. And I'm left up top now when that happens. And then we draw Syriac. Okay, back to me. Now I am going to extend. So I draw two dice out of my bag, roll them, 
you know, I don't know if I can actually do that. Let me pause and consult the rules. Yeah, I can't do that because you're never allowed to use dice in the same time you got them. So I'm actually going to rest. So let's go ahead and do the rest step here. Reveal the bottom scroll. Okay. And so that is a three. So that means we go one, two, three. It's going to push this Greek out of the way. And the Greek gets discarded because there are no empty spots in the top of the tower. Like one tower is not completely empty. So it gets, uh, it gets discarded there. All right. The next thing we gain income, so I have to get uh, one white die. Then I get to do this again so I can spend a, a coin, which I kind of need. I don't know if I really want to do that. Uh, that's a tough call, but I like the dice. Hmm. Is there any way to get a coin easily? I could retire her next time. You know what? We can't waste not want not, right? So let's go ahead and get an orange die. And that'll go in the bag. Then I can get a white guy. And then I will roll just four. That's three. One more. Oh, look at all those colors. That's helpful. Lots of options this time to do some stuff. Okay. Then return all dice that were used to the bag. We're going to put him back. Not touching that one this time. And return the cards to my hand. Okay, back to Mr. AI over here. He doesn't move that. Seven cards on the bottom. There are not seven cards. So he's going to recruit. And which one does he want to recruit? I want to recruit this guy. If he's not already there, he's not there. So he's going to get Mr. Syriac here. And then he's going to put him in spot number one, like so. Back to me now. I do want to transfer that scroll over, if at all possible, because that will allow me to get this orange dice in play. That first scroll just takes a couple of, couple of things here. And if I wanted to make it green, I could do so, and that would save me a little bit of effort. Now that's a giant, there's a Syriac scroll over there. Who speaks Syriac? It's Syriac to Arabic. It'd be helping out him, which I don't want to do really under any circumstances. So the other one is the Persian. I can focus on the Persian Arabic, which is probably the best thing to do. I don't necessarily love that scoring condition, but you know, we're going to do it anyway. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four. Okay, so this is not something I'd love to do, but we're going to do it. Um, let us play this card so we can take advantage here. We're going to make this three a six with that white one. And then that moves, whoops, bump the camera there. Don't want to do that. We're still in good shape. I think so. Okay. Then we're going to go ahead and move him right here. It's going to allow me to move this card and I'm going to pay the, uh, oh yeah, that's right. I needed to find a way to get a coin out of all this. So, I have to do it this way. All right, so I'm going to leave. So, two coins, B5, and then there we go. So, net one. Move it over here. And I want to interact with Mr. Orange. So, that immediately does this, which allows me to take a gold off of any one spot. I'm going to take a gold off of his spot. And so we did that. Then we get to place one of these up here, which is good. And then we replace from the stack, which I should keep in its proper place. So don't get confused right there. All right. I'm happy about that because now I get my orange die into the bag. Okay. So back to him. What is he going to do? Is he going to get blue? No, he does not get a blue. He comes around. So since he's gone around the bend once, he places down this little tile, which means he puts this over here, putting him back up there. Now, five translators, one, two, three, four, plenty of those. So he is going to influence 
and he's gonna put it where he doesn't have a spot, right? Let me just go back, I wanna make sure. Okay, so where no player has one, where the AI has none, which is right here. All right, <clears throat> then um, he's gonna put a gold on the first neutral over here that he can. Okay, now back to me. I've moved that over, so we've got that. Now I wanna translate so I can flip this over and unlock my power. Translating that requires the Persian Arabic. Totally can do that, the only thing I need is an orange. Well, it just so happens I have a way to do that. So the first thing I'm gonna do is, oh, I'm gonna put this over here. That's This is fine actually going all the way back there. So to make it orange, I can do it like so. That is orange right there. And then what that will let me do is use my translator, Persian to Arabic, that pays off. So what's gonna happen? Well, first let's just finish before I get her. Let's take the Persian to Arabic. This will pump this up one more, allowing me to get two of any color I want at the end. So I like that. All right. We put the gold on her, we take the gold off, and then she goes under my board to give me a bonus for using this action. Now the thing that, she will generate gold every time I use the action. So probably the best place to put that would be in the translate spot since that's where I need gold in the first place. The other thing I could do is put it over in the research spot The research spot will probably pay off a little bit more, so I'm going to put it there, because I, I do research a lot. I like that action, if at all possible. Okay, that's what we're going to do. We're going to put it over there. That means I'll be able to take a gold off the board every time I play the research action. Okay, so we have done that. We're getting some points on the board here. Happy about that. Next. Moves it two spaces. One, two. If there's six or more, there's two, four, five. So there's not, so he's gonna hire. What is he gonna hire? He wants to hire the Greek guy. Greek guy is already out there. So then it'd be Mrs. Hebrew. And so here we go, Mrs. Hebrew. And then it's gonna be the third spot. One, two, three, spots filled, so it goes right here. Okay, back to me now. I just love this game, by the way. I can't, I can't, tell you how much fun it is just to play it. I don't know what it is about this game, but it has my number and it's calling me all the time. Okay, so let's see. I've got this one left. I need to do some research for sure. And I'd also like to strike this spot. So we're gonna use this to do it. So that means that's a two, but I really need it to be more than a two. I need it to be at least a four or more. So to do that, we're gonna turn it into um, a six, which is funny. I barely ever use those, but this is coming handy this time. So a six and a gold, all right, lets me boost up on any track I want out here, matching this. Hope I didn't screw that up earlier. I don't think I did. Because you always have to have it match. If I did, I apologize, but you have, to, you have to match this color with the one you want to go up on. And I, in fact, do really want to go up on the blue, so that's perfect, but I just wanted to be sure. I don't know if I did or not, but... And then I get two coins. All right. So, that should be good. I'm going to go ahead and move this gold off there, just so I don't make a mistake. Back to him now. He's going the full distance before resting. All right, so two. There are three out there. What he wants to translate, he wants to translate Persian. There are no Persians, so he's going to go to the next one, Syriac. Syriac is right here, so he's going to take a Syriac card, and then he is going to put one gold down on someone who speaks Syriac that's neutral to the right. Okay, back to me now. It's time to rest. So resting, first thing I do is reveal the bottom. Bottom is not a score, it's a Greek. 
This goes two spaces, one, two. So Greek for Greek, out you go. There's no spot up in the, uh, where a tower is completely empty, so that's done. So we revealed that. Now we gain income. Okay, I have to unfortunately get my um, white die. Then I take this. I don't really know at this point what I'm going for. So we're going for flexibility. Okay, then we're going to go up on one track of my choice. Uh, the track of my choice is going to be the green. And I just realized, and I, I actually just, just saw this for the first time. This is only the three primaries. It's not all colors. This is all colors. So when I went up that first time, I, I, I don't remember what I did. And I apologize for that. I probably made a mistake, sorry. But I never really saw that until right now that I've been giving myself a little bit too much of a bonus there. And I've played this game many times. But I'm doing it right now, at least from this point. In fact, no, I think I didn't do it, make a mistake because the first time I went up, yeah, I did because I went up there, I think. I think. I don't remember. Sorry about that, folks. Again, try my best here. But the main reason I do the playthroughs is so you can kind of see how it plays, right? And, and it'll reinforce most of the rules, and I absolutely try for the best, but sometimes I do make small mistakes. Okay. Now, we did this. We, have, we get to get a white guy. And, geez, see? Look at that. When I translated that orange, I forgot to flip this over. So that is now in play. Now I get to roll five dice. I get to draw five dice out of here. That's five. Okay, and then I get to draw one more because I've left that open because I unlocked it. So one more die. Oh, good, orange. So we've got a lot of stuff there to work with. Okay, 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 okay. And then we're going to go ahead and put these dice back in the bag. Discard these. Clear my hand of cards. Now he's going to rest also, and with that is going to reveal the bottom one. Bottom one, not a scorecard, Sanskrit. One, two, three, four. Hebrew goes Sanskrit. I like that one a lot because I usually focus on that, so I'm going to try to go for that if I can. Hebrew goes out. Then he is going, because he's got three blue, he's going to go up on that, the dice sum. And then because he has three blue, he's going to, uh, and all of these went out. The full thing, he gets one of these for the end of the game. That's a three-pointer, bummer. And then uh, he takes his cards back. Okay. All right. Fresh setup for me. Like I said, I really do like that idea of the Sanskrit one over there. What would I need to do to get there? Well, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's not so bad. I have a... A six, so maybe I just go right for it. Why not? Let's go right for it. Let's do that with this card. Playing the six. I'm tempted, actually. You know, I'm going to save that six. I guess it doesn't really matter. Because I could go either. I'll just play the six. Okay, never mind. Okay, over here to the six. Now, if I wanted to, I could maybe... Get an influence on it. Where is he in the Sanskrit? He's got... So he has some Chinese and other... Chan yeah, so he, I'm, I'm probably not going to have to influence that one. Uh, he's going to want to hit the Chinese first, and that's up here. So we'll put this over here. And again, that moves the green. Uh, cost me four. Why do I always make that mistake? So I do have to turn that orange. Like it or not. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my orange die with the four. Make it a six. Then I get my two coins over there. So two, three, four is four coins. And I'm going to put it over here. And now it really doesn't matter. Well, I'll put in the purple. It'll be easier for me to do that translation. And I move up here, which draws two more out of the bag. Two more. All right. A red and a... That's not the greatest of rolls, but whatever. Okay. Draw this replacement. Scoring. 
I'm actually set up okay. So the first thing that happens here, we're gonna put a gold on any of the original ones that are still out there. Okay, so that means this one, this one, and this one. Because this is now full, it goes back. And because I own this, I do get a coin. All right, now, <clears throat> the next thing is, yeah, if you if you retire one, oh no, that's if it gets retired, I don't get the coin, um, and he doesn't either, by the way, for, he never gets that for that spot. Okay, now we're coming up here, so he has nothing out here, but when there's nothing out there, he goes the blue route, so he's going to take this and jump to the max when he gets three points, which is unfortunate. Oh, boy. I get one point, I get an orange die. Or I can get my hands on... I can retire another... I, I kind of feel like I should retire. I'm going to do that. It gives him a point, though, but it doesn't matter. He's going to retire. He's going to get a point. So these guys are both... These guys aren't bad at all. Um... Especially since I've I've got a bunch of those. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take this out. I am going to retire this one. It's gonna give me. I have to take a white die to do it. But now, whenever I translate, I can toss some guys and get some get at least a primary color die, which I think is good. Plus, it's worth three points, so I'm I'm okay with that. Uh, he, because he didn't get his chance to get in on that, uh, he will go ahead and get a coin. And so when he gets a coin, he moves this. And then here, I have to go up for the following. So I guess I get them both. That was kind of silly for me to hem and haw over the whole thing. Um, so when I go up there, I get a die of my choice. It's uh, not a die, it's, a, it's an orange. Orange. I'm doing really well on the tint dice. That's good. And then he gets the gold. And then when he gets a gold here, he gets to put a gold on that. Well, actually, no, it's on the furthest to the left. There we go. Okay. So all that. Now. Halfway through the game. Halfway through. Okay. So, let's see. How did that all start? That all started by me moving this over there, replacing. So, it is his turn. Okay. Zero, seven. There are not seven out here. So, he is going to pull in. The one that he's looking for, which would be that guy, but he's already out. So then he moves to the uh, Chinese translator over here. And he's going to put it right there. Okay, now me. I need more translators employed. There's no doubt about it. So I'm going to focus on that for a minute. The idea was to translate to Sanskrit. So can I get someone that goes, well, this would be interesting. Sanskrit to Hebrew, Hebrew to Persian. Well, hmm. the other thing I could do is try to take, um, get some Chinese folks in place. You know what? All right, this is going to, I'm going to, I'm going to Sanskrit. Who can do Sanskrit? So Sanskrit to Greek is out there right now, and Sanskrit to Hebrew, Hebrew to Persian. That'll cost me a ton of gold, but it'll get a lot of guys out. Let's give it a shot. So let's go ahead and recruit, and I'm going to do this with the five and the two, and then I'm going to recruit Chinese, no, what did I say? Uh, Sanskrit, Sanskrit to Hebrew, because I'm going to try to use my guy over there. So Sanskrit to Hebrew, 
I only have one coin, so I don't have a lot of places to put it. So I'll put it over there, influence it on time this time, and then I get a, a worker of my choice, which is fine because I'm actually going to need some workers of my choice. I'm going to actually take a white one this time, which is very rare for me to do that. Okay. <clears throat> Happy with that move. Now, moving back to him, we're going to go ahead and see two. So around the horn, one, two. Goes around the horn, he's going to plop that final gold right here, which is going to clear this card and put this into his thing. Now, um, let's see. So there are two, four, six out there. So he's going to influence a card. He's going to influence where nobody is, which is up here. This is bad. I got I to gotta deal with that. It's really easy to ignore that and then lose up here. And losing up there is... Not good for your chances of winning this game, that is for sure. Okay, so back to me now. What was the head for? Back to me. Let's see. We've just so that that's right. So now I want to hire again. And I want to hire. So I, I put this out here so I can go Sanskrit to Persian. Now I need to go from Persian to Arabic, which is her, but I don't have any coins. So unfortunately, I have to use this one and continue to suck down, um, continue to suck down coins here, or uh, white dice, and Persian Arabic, so I need at least five. Well, I got this six right here, so we'll go ahead and juice that up, Persian to Arabic. I got two coins, oh gosh, <sighs> okay. So we are going to go ahead and put her there. Gives me another white die. But it also lets me put some influence out here, which I'm happy to do. And I need to start pumping this up to get some stuff. By the way, I think when I played this down, I didn't get my influence here. Can't remember, but it, I don't remember doing it. So I'm going to put it there now, which would then flop this around which would change things because what would happen is I would end up with, that would be when he did the thing, it wasn't in a spot where he had no, it would have been a spot where he had no. So yeah, we're good, we're good like that. That all I think works. Then, um, let's see. Okay, I think we're good. Yeah, because we influenced there, okay. We're good. Now, here we go with his stuff. One. So one moves over there. If there's five or more translate, there are not. So he's going to move something over to translate. What's he want to move? He wants to move Greek. Greek is right here. The first one, he'll take the Greek. He wants to put it in the green spot, which he will do. And there we go. And then he influences there. And then take the top off. Okay. All right, back to me now. So I have my chain. Now I need gold, lots of gold. So in order to get some gold, best thing to do would be to get some from here. I need some higher stuff. And, you know, normally I don't really, um, that might be the best way. I like that way. So this is what I'm gonna do. Put this down over here. I'm going to do four and four, which is eight. Now I need to be orange. I'm gonna do it right this time. So that is now orange. So I move this up. That'll at least get me gold at the end. Doesn't get me anything now, but it does get me two coins, which will help. Back to him now. He is really filling it out evenly. That's for sure. So one over here. Are there five translators? Yes, there are. So he is going to influence again. He wants to influence a spot where, um, since he's in every place, he is going to put it down in purple because that's where he is. So that puts him over here. We're still tied. And then also he is going to put a gold on the translator that's neutral for this to the left, which will be right there. Okay. Back to me now. I have my stuff set up. I need some more gold. I pushed that up a little bit to help me with some of that, but I really probably could have done that better. 
red, red, red. I can still do that better. And I think I'm going to. So I'm going to put this out here. Oh, I could take a gold, which I will do. Uh, I'm going to steal the gold from him when I put that down. So that's right. I'm like, I thought I was going to get some more gold faster. Okay. Now I'm going to do that again. I'm going to um, get out there. This is a five. And I'd like to get it to an eight. And I can do just that. So that's an eight. Now, the other thing I could do, so that bumps this up a little, but and that's fine, I suppose. The purples are, yeah. I could go neutral on the thing. Um, you know what? This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do this. That's a four. Now it's a nine. I need to have it be some kind of color. So we're gonna go blue because I need more influence up there anyway. And I really don't wanna lose on this one when the time comes. But if I put it over here, then at least I'm gonna get a gold. I'm gonna do that. Okay, so now I have blue, which I pushed up there to one spot. And the whole thing I was thinking, I, I guess, was I was thinking about doing this for more. Instead of blue, I really need red. Sorry. Walking it back, back, up. We need red because I need to bump this up so I can get one gold from the thing and I could take one gold over here. You gotta try to slow him down because he takes these things, that is just, that's a ton of points. Now I have what I need. Okay, I'm happy. All right, here we go. He's going to translate. What does he want to translate? He wants to translate Hebrew. There is no Hebrew out there. So he's going to go to Persian. No Persian. Then he goes to Syriac. No Syriac. Back to Chinese. So the Chinese, like I said, saved us. And what color would he do? And when we um, go back and forth, it would be the purple one right there. So he's going to take this. It'll be seven points. He puts, for him, he puts two gold out who speaks chinese well i speak chinese but he speaks it first so he goes through then i get one secondly after that because of the two gold okay happy about that i don't mind him using my guy a little bit but it's my turn to use my guy a little bit and this will help me get some more dice colors which i could really use i never i really rarely use the purple one i know don't know if that's like a major miss, but that's just the way it goes. Um, okay, I'm going to put this down here. This is purple. It will allow me to do my Sanskrit, which I was hoping to do. In order to get that Sanskrit done, I go Sanskrit to Hebrew, Hebrew to Persian, and Persian to Arabic. Wabam! That's what makes this game super fun. Oh, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Look at that. That was a good, that was a feel good move. Now, not only that, but, um, so I moved up there, which is great, but now I get to retire him. We'll put him over here. So I can start influencing that. And everybody else is in good shape, but I also can spend two of these to, take a white out of my bag, which I feel like I have to, whether I want to or not, I got too much white. So white goes out and I could put something in. Now what do I, I've got a decent amount of blue. I don't have any of these that score for a specific amount, which is unusual. Usually I get a couple of those. Uh, I'll just grab a yellow. We're gonna kind of be balanced, I guess this time. Okay, so I feel really good about that move. Now he is gonna rest first. So when he rests, he takes the bottom one. The bottom one is not a score. It is a one move here. It's a Syriac. Syriac's going to bump Mr. Sanskrit. Sanskrit's going to lock in place there. Then, this time, he has used more red, so he goes backwards on the dice some track. He will pick up this card, because he's got three red out there. And then we'll shuffle. Okay, 
we're getting close. We're getting close. Well over halfway. Probably, probably these, they don't have too many cards left here. So they're probably stacked up a little bit tight. Okay, now I have to rest also because I'm out of just about everything. So let's see what the bottom one is. Bottom one is an orange score. So this is three. One, two, three. Nobody is in this spot. So this bumps that. It's a Greek, which I'm not set up to do. Um, really. So then, reveal the bottom scroll. Gain income. So this and, a, oh, unfortunately, I don't have a guy to get rid of a white. I was planning on that, but I used them all. So then I get to get two guys of my choice. Let's go ahead and pick these two. That's a purple. Um, that's, again, a Sanskrit, which, that's Sanskrit and Sanskrit. I, I probably actually want to change that up. I want to go this away. Because I'm going to maybe gun for that Greek, and that would then give me... Um, I, I could see how I could get that done quicker because we're not going to be here forever, folks. Okay, so we've gotten that. That was for this one. Then we have the science one, which is a gold. And then we have this, which is one coin to get whatever type of die. And we're going to get a red die. It's not really whatever type of die. It's a primary color die. Um, here, that's not coming up yet. I have to take another white. I have to draw five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Those are some great rolls. And then here I can finally bump this all the way up to the top, which gives me a bump in any color plus another die. And I think I really want to do this like I was kind of working on before. Put that over here. Um, and then actually put it over here because I'm going to hope that he gets out and I can go in. And then one more draw from my bag. Okay. All right. Put these guys back. All these dice back. And here. I haven't retired a lot of guys and I need to start making that happen because there's a lot of points to be had there but get on it okay that's a big rest turn two one two and is there three or more to translate there is he wants to translate a syriac there's no syriac so he's going to swing back around to chinese he's going to take this chinese one so that's another seven points for him and two gold whoever speaks chinese well chinese no chinese so then he comes right back along, and it doesn't matter what they speak. So this is now gone. Okay. And it is up to me. Starting the process over again. Like I said, I need to be retiring. So to retire, I need to make Persian. I need to go from Persian to Arabic. And I also need to do Persian. I need, like the best thing would be was like Hebrew to Persian to Arabic. So is there a Hebrew scroll out there? There is a Hebrew scroll. It's not the best. Well, actually, that's not the end of the world. So if I go around there, I need to get some four coins. So the best way to get coins first, I think, will be to go here. All right. This is where the meat and potatoes really come in here. So I want to make sure that I'm using this because that's worth a ton of good stuff for me. So let's do that. We're going to go there. Um, and then I need to make sure it's at least eight. So this is seven. This would be eight. But what color do I really want? Well, it would be nice. It would be really nice. To bump my blue up again or my red. I could do the 10 to gold and make two bumps. But I need the gold. I don't want to be... Uh, that, that's, that's a little bit risque there. I think what I'm going to do, actually... I need those coins. This gets this guy off of off a start. Let's just do that. So that's nine yellow. I can pull one gold off of 
that one right there for this. Then the nine yellow allows me to bump this up one. So that's one coin plus the two coins they get. Ba bam! there we go. Love it when that kind of thing works out. All right, feels good. Translate again. So he wants to translate um, the Syriac one. We've already gone through this, so it goes back around. Sanskrit, no, there is a Sanskrit. So he's gonna translate Sanskrit. That's an orange. First Sanskrit for him. Two gold out, starting from the left. Uh, no, 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 they gotta speak for, for the right. Does anybody speak Sanskrit out here? No. So that means that nobody does, including me. So he's gonna put one over there and one over there. All right, back to me now. Let's see, this would be a perfect opportunity to move over there. Oh, that's really nice. That works out really, really well. Let us do just that. We're gonna move. We'll get a little gold there at the end for that too. Okay. So this is seven. How many do I really need? I need one, two, three, four. I don't need this one out here. We're gonna save that. One, two, three, four. And I have four right here. So I can move this Hebrew one over to here. I get a gold. You know, I haven't been getting my gold from that. Goodness gracious, making it so difficult on me. I have, The whole time I haven't been getting my gold. Well. Tough. I'm just a fool. So I get one gold. And I do get two of these. Usually I don't make that mistake. I've gone over there a lot, haven't taken my gold. So we're not going to do any compensation. For every, so you know what? Whatever other mistakes, that pays the dividends for those. So how's that? Okay, now let's see. Is it going to be a scoring card? It is not. Woohoo. We're gonna have back-to-back -back scoring here coming up real soon. So we moved them over, we paid. Uh, I do need to move this up, which gives me an opportunity to get one thing here. I'll get the red one to give myself the flexibility. I think, yeah, we'll do that. Because what I really wanna do, in fact, I know that's what I wanna do because I'm gonna to need to um, actually know. What did I just say? I need to do Hebrew. I need to do orange, right? So, yeah, that'll be fine. Okay. All right, back to him. So, seven translators. There is not seven translators. So he's going to bring a translator in. Which one do you want to bring in? He wants to bring in the guy with that here, but that's not there. So now he goes to the Chinese translator here, and he wants to bring it in on space zero, which will be right there. Okay, whoops, flip it around. Okay, back to me. Now, I was I was thinking about how to actually pull off this translation right away because I have a ton of gold and I think I can do it. So what I'll do is play him out there. I have a five. So what I'll do is we'll take this. We need it to be orange, right? So we're gonna make this. You know, uh, let's not use this card yet. Let's use this card there, there, and there. Because I, I have an idea what I want to do with that, and it's not that. I'll do something else with it. Okay, so putting that out there now, if I have two guys, I can toss them. Ooh. Yeah, we... we because I can still make a one. Hmm. Okay, pardon me for slowing down a second here. I just want to be 100% sure that what I'm doing makes some sense. We're going to go for it. Okay, taking these two guys, we're going to discard the white, and we're going to get another color die. We've got to get these whites out of here. I really don't want to have the six white, because I'll lose three points. We'll take a blue now. Okay, so what? let's see what else I'm going to do here. Now, let's see. We will translate that. Yeah, because that makes it orange. 
So we're going to take this Hebrew. How do we get to Hebrew to Arabic? Well, this is how we do it. Hebrew to Persian and Persian to Arabic. Okay, that is in place. This goes up. So get some coins if I even use that card, which I haven't. And then I get to retire her, which will put, I'm never going to use this power because it's way too late. So let's put it in a place that I'm not going to do too much of left. I guess here. And then here, I'm going to use this power a little more. Now I have to pay a coin or take a white person or white die, I mean, to get in there. I just cannot seem to escape the white die situation because I don't have any coins. So fine, here goes another white die into the bag. I'm just probably going to be eating those. And then we're going to do this over here because I'm going to still try to make a run for some research almost assuredly at the end. Okay. Happy with that. Really happy with that, actually. That all worked out real well. Okay, so, because now I have one, two, three, four, five, so this puts me right there. If I can get two more to retire before the end, I'm going to be in great shape. Okay, well, I did everything. I think I did everything. Two here, one, two. So this goes over here. He's going to influence the orange. Don't love that. Then... Uh, what does that say? So if there's six or more translators, there are not. So he's going to hire a translator. He wants to hire her, which there are none of those. And he'll put it in space number two. Two is filled, so he puts it over here. Now, back to me. I've got this one little die left. That really can't do much for me except for retire, or I could... Yeah, I really have to retire because there's no spot out... Not retire, um, dismiss. Dismiss. The other thing I could do, nope, I can't do that either. I guess I, I guess I suppose I could. I could jump over that to do this, but really? So what does that do? That gives me a die I could take in my hand, which isn't bad because I've been taking so much on. So maybe that's the best thing for me to do, actually. It's kind of an odd move, but you know what? And then I'll be able to use this. Okay, we are going to do that. We'll do a little bit of a strange one here. So that's a six. The other thing I could do is I could research that and I could turn, I have to spend some gold, but, hmm. Interesting, interesting. So is there any other better thing? Yeah, you know, we're gonna do what I just did. We're going to do that. I will try to choose. What is the best one for me to influence here at the end? Well, I have gone up. How many Syriacs have I done? None. Um, hmm. Maybe I just put it over here to prospect a little bit. So we haven't really gone up a lot on that one, which means I don't know if I would. Well, I can I can probably string together something. I've got an idea. I'll put that over there, and then. That gives me one die of my choice in my hand, plus a die out of here. So let's see what I get out of here first. A white and a die of my choice in my hand. We're gonna take the red. Okay. Yeah, I like that. All right, I can't believe this entire game, he has literally gone back, forth, back, forth, back, forth. The entire game, that is the first time it's happened to me. Okay, meaning that he hasn't rested early. <clears throat> so he is like dragging the game slower almost. Not that it's dragging. I'm, I'm having a great time. Okay, so let's see. So nothing out there. So he has to bring one over. What's he going to bring over? I'm going to guess he's going to bring over a scoring card. Yep. Scoring card. So the first thing we're going to do is see, do any of these get added from over here? And they get added only, They well, they will. Shh. She will get added to the first spot, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. Now, because we're all blue, I get the first crack, crack at it. I'm definitely going up there. That will swap these around. Then here I get the first crack at the next one. Definitely going here. That uh, does not swap anything. Oh, all right, wait a minute. 
So back here, so he gets um, a push over here, then he'll get a push over here, and um, I get a primary of my choice, which I'll take this yellow. And that's in my hand, I'll take that. And then over here, he takes this one, and that will mean retiring um, the one with the most points, which is here. And he will do that. And I think I've, a couple of times too, when that's happened, I was supposed to back him up and I've been forgetting about that. But I just backed him up now, so there we go. A lot to keep in mind, I guess, when you're playing this game. I'm not trying to make excuses myself, but boy, does it sound like it, right? Okay, so <laughs> this was all about... Um, so I had him do the scorecard, but why? What was I was... See, I do so much talking. The whole reason he did that had to be to translate. Oh, it was to move a card. I did that whole thing wrong. He should have moved a card first, my mistake, and that should have been the replacement. So the card he would have moved would have been a Persian card, which would have been this one right here. He would have moved it over here. He would have gotten two of these. That does, that does modify this. So that means that he would have gone here because he would have been up top more than me. So that changes things, sorry. Oh my gosh, mind blown. So he wouldn't have done a Persian card because he would have been back over here. He would have actually moved the Hebrew card, but there was no card out there, so it would have been Persian, my goodness. Okay, so what happens now is I have to take this yellow back and then um, I would get the coin. My goodness. Okay, sorry about that. So, now he then would do the score, which we just did. Um, and then we would draw another one. Okay. Pity's sake. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Sorry about that, folks. How many times am I going to say that in this playthrough? You get it all. You get the uh, the most raw of them all, I guess, this time. Okay, so now I have two dice left. I would like to bump the research for sure. And I'd like to also gain some additional stuff. And the best thing I think would be, I don't have anybody out here, so I need more coins. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to place this one over here. And this is a nine red which is totally fine. So nine red means I push this up here. So I'm gonna get a bunch of stuff there. Plus uh, the nine will give me two coins, which will help me in the future. I'm happy about that. Okay. He rests. This is probably gonna pull the plug on the game. Nope. This is a four. One, two, three, four. Puts that out. All right. Then he has the most blue. So he is going to um, go up one. And then he is going to get another one of these in his retirement pool. All right. Now I'm going to rest. Maybe this pulls the plug. Okay. So for me, I'm going to rest now. Bottom card. There it is, okay. So then <clears throat> we put one out here that isn't represented. So we have him, we have her, we have her. So then it has all been represented. So we just put him right there as a neutral, which stinks because that's gonna give him some extra points. However, I don't think he scored for it. No, he didn't score any of those. So wait a minute. I don't know if that's that one or that one. We'll have to see, I'll look at it. Okay, so back to here. That's a real bummer. So he gets the three points. Um, he then gets the one point and the up on that. At least slides me in a section, that section. And then he's out of here. So he loses three points, but he gets to retire. Whichever one gives him more points, they're the same. And it'll be a plus. So it backs him up 
that way. All right, so now I gain my income. Well, first thing is a gold. Second thing is two workers and I get to remove a gold from any card. Take it off of here, because I want to use the Greek. I'm going to be using that one. Um, and then up in any track. Well, the track I was talking about going up on. Oh, that's perfect, because I can go up in any track and I get to influence this guy. Sweet. Yes. Oh, that's good. Okay. Uh, the track I want to go up on, I think if kind of, if I could do this, that will give me that. I've already got the lead there. It doesn't help. It would be great if I could find a way. Yes. We'll go up there because that allows me to do this, which bumps him and puts me into scoring position there. Okay. I'm happy about that. This and any kind of worker will get rid of another white die, which I will need to toss. And then over here, um, we're going to draw... Five out of the bag four and one more okay that's five out of the bag <clears throat> and then finally three coins one two and three okay so that triggers the end of the game now let's see what happens so I think we both get one more move so actually he's gonna get two more moves because I went first and so he is going to um, finish the round with his move. And then we're both going to get one more move, and that's going to be it. So he moves here. There are not five to translate, so he's going to bring one over. And the one he's going to bring over is going to be a Persian. There is no Persian, so he tries for Syriac. There is a Syriac. So he takes the Syriac. Where does he want to put it? Well, it's going to be in the green space. So he's going to influence over here. Okay, that will be the uh, end of that first move. Now for me, oh, when I did the income, I forgot to reset. So let's get these dice back in the bag. Cards off. Now, I have a bunch of gold. If I could translate one more thing, I would be a happy camper. I've got a bunch of, I got a bunch of coins too. So the best thing would be, this Persian would be, I get to score one, two, three, four. I get a lot with that Persian one. And I can do Persian to Arabic right there. I can't see why I wouldn't want to do that if I can make it happen. I think I can make it happen. So we're going to go for it. And we're not going to get anything out of the bottom of this. And the dice don't really matter. So we're just going to jump right into this. Oh, uh, that would have been nice. Yeah, again, one more move. Why wouldn't I do this? Okay, so five. So this is going to be orange. And the Persian. Right? Because what else would I get? That would help me. I'd be able to retire a guy. He's worth two. No, I'm just going to do this. We made a decision. We're going to live with it. Okay, <clears throat> that does boost me here, which is fine. Um, the Persian, I have to do this and I have to give him a gold or a coin. So that puts this over here. And then I get a bump on one of the primary colors, not all of them, but one of the primaries. So the best thing I think that gives me five. Now, what is that? Nah. That could help me though. That could help me get rid of some white dice. How many white dice do I have? Three. Oh, I've got a million. So it doesn't really matter. Um, the other thing I could do would be to dump one of the, no. Hmm. Just trying to think about the best thing. It'd be this. No, that's not a primary color. Primary color, or yes it is. Yeah, it's yellow. So then what I'll do is I'll at least dump this other white die. I don't think it's going to matter, but it'll help my dice some. And pushing that up right there, that... I'm sorry. 
I want to make sure I don't lose leave points on the table here. I think that's going to be good enough. Unless he somehow gets the influence there, which would be a bummer. Um, it would be the green one that I'm worried about. That'd be it. All right, well, we're going to take a risk. Okay, so his final move, he's going to translate. There are three things to translate. So he is going to, of course, he swings around here. One, two, he's going to put the gold on the first one to the left. And then he's going to translate what looks like Sanskrit. There is a Sanskrit. He puts it over here. And he puts two gold out. Um, let's see. So Sanskrit, her, and then anybody. Okay, so there's a lot of cards out here. So at least not a lot of them fell down at the very end. So that's the end of the game. Now, we're going to score him first. I guess we could score us both at the same time, but... Let's just see. So, victory point sum for the dice. So, he is negative one. That's what he's got. I had more dice this game than I can remember. Um, too bad I didn't have any scoring ones for it. So, let's see. Let's We're going to basically just cordon these off in pairs, canceling each other out. I almost did it. Almost got those white dice gone. Huh. <laughs> Not really. At least here, I end up with plus four. So with the plus four, I'm going to get the two points. He gets the zero. All right, that's a plus. Okay, so what we're going to do to score is I'm going to track my, my score with these blue dice. I'm going to track his score with the red dice, okay? So, so far, I'm at two. He's at zero. Okay, so there's the dice sum. Victory points printed on all retired neutral translators. So he has 2, 3, 5, 7, 8, 10, 13, uh, 15, 16, 18, 20. So he has 20 of those points. Okay, so we're going to give him, this is going to be 20. We'll just make this a zero, so 20. Okay, and then... Um, for me, same deal, right? So 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11, so that's what gives, it would be 13. So 13. Okay. So then we have victory points from any guilds they control, plus victory points from any influence they have on the top and middle spaces of the Caliph cards. So they didn't control any, but they get 3, 6, 7, 8, 11 for that. So we were at 20 here. Now we're at 31. Come on. 31. Okay. For me, I have 1, 3, 6, 7, 8, 11. So we both pushed there. So now I'm at 24. And then finally, victory points for their scroll cards. And we'll do that right now. So they, so they have two Chinese scroll cards. That is 14. This is two times the number of pairs. I think it's pairs retired. So let's see. Scores from retired neutral translators. Well, so this is interesting. I've never really paid attention too much, but they show them in pairs. I don't know if that's each pair is worth one point or not. But I'm going to play it that it isn't. I'm going to play it like that's a multiple. Well, does it say pairs and everything? No, it just says it doesn't really specify, which I don't know why they have it that way. And so I've always played it as just the retired. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven times two. No, I'm sorry. 11 period. Yeah, 11 times two is 22. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. I'd love it if I was because that's a lot of points. So 20, so 22 puts him at 53. So 53 plus the 14 over here, right? So that's 67. So that's going to be 6 plus 167, okay? Nothing there, nothing there. Now, 
two times the, what is that? That is the neutral translator still in the room. See, they only use one there. I'm going to think that this is actually supposed to be for every pair. Because there's two of them. And I've never really paid attention to that till just now. But why wouldn't it be? Why would they have two of those there? So instead of 24, I'm going to make that 12. So I'll cut it in half. I had 11. What is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So we'll cut that in half, 5 and a half, round it up to make it 6. 6 times 2 is 12. So let's subtract 12 off of this. So we'll put it down to 50. Five. I just feel like that's more right. Now tell me, you guys tell me what you think. I'd love to hear it. Okay, then here it's for each one, right? So two tenths, it's two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. So 14, that's a, that's a rough one. All right, so 14, so now we're at 69. Okay, and then finally, for every two of these influence words, we're doing the same thing. So that would be one, two times one. One, two times one. So that would just be two. So that puts us at 71. So that's his score. 71. Now let's see mine. So still I'm sitting at 24, but I got a lot of things to score. <clears throat> All right, so victory points for Gilded Control, final positions of the marker, yeah, the research tracks. So here we go, so two, six, uh, seven, eight, 13, 15 more. So that puts me to 39. Okay, and then, um, Let's look at the scroll cards here. So here I'll get two plus so I have one, two, three, four, five. So five is two, so that's four more points. So that'd be 43, okay? So 43. Then I have one plus the two, so that's 46. And then over here is just one, which is unfortunate, 47. And then over here, it's three, so that would be 50. 51 minus three is 48, so I should be at 48. And then four, I have all seven of those, so that's another eight points. So the 58 is 64. I'm sorry, I said 40. So 48 would be, then to 58 would be 54. And then finally, one, two, three, so three more. So 57. All right, 71 to 57 is how I see it. I'm going to relook that up. We'll just take a quick, quick look and see if that's different about that score. Yeah, I was right. It was every two, it's every two influence and every two retired ones. So there we go. 71 to 57. Not as close as I've been before, but, well, I don't know. Either way, I had a great time playing. I hope you had a really good time watching. Thanks so much. I really appreciate the support. And whatever you decide to do in the future, you know, I really hope you have a fast, fantastic time doing it. And I think I forgot to give myself those two extra points there. Who knows, man? It's been that kind of day. And, in fact, I'm almost sure I forgot to do it. So we'll just uh, give it to myself. It doesn't matter. I still lost. So there we go. 59. All right. Take it easy, everybody.